Ladies and gentlemen, welcome! That's right, I'm finally doing it. It's been requested and it's been asked about, so I finally decided, why not give in to the masses? Episode 16 of The Rise of Djibouti! Or Djibouti! Or Djibouti! Whatever you want to call it, Uti. That's right. And I bet, I bet we're in for some interesting things. Why? Why do you ask? Well, as you can see, there's still plenty of world to conquer. From the entire Western Hemisphere, to what's left of Asia, and various little bitty parts of Europe. That is correct. Where should we start is the real question. Well, I don't entirely know. <laughs> um, I don't know at all. I have no earthly idea. But why not go ahead and start by taking a look at our economy. That is correct. 101 years in the future. Djibouti has an income. Well, at least an economy. Let's look at our GDP of 62 trillion magnificent dollars. And it's this rate of 28.9% and a personal income tax of 55%. With stability at 40%, approval at 71%, and the most powerful military in the world by far. That is correct. Um... As for our production, our production is pretty piss poor. Just because we've taken on so much of the world. And look, our population is 2 billion. Assuming that the population is roughly around 6 or 7 billion, about a third of the world is under Djibouti's influence. And look at that. Look at that map. Oh, it's so beautiful. That's right. Yes, <laughs> it is destinedly, destinedly beautiful. Um, unfortunately, our death rate is 1.3%, which is not bad. But Djibouti is cleaning house, baby! Everybody's died on our roller coasters, and there's not much we can do about it. Well, let's go ahead and get started. How about we start by, uh, let's take some of our BA little naval, naval forces here. Put them next to the UK. That's right. I'm gonna move them right there. And we are going to invade! Sweet, sweet UK! Come on, come on, ship. Come on, don't you, want to get a, don't you want to get a little closer? Don't you want to get to know them better? Oh, I probably, I probably need to speed it up. Or not. There it goes. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and select uh, the majority of our forces. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, it looks like we are under attack. Never mind. Let's uh, deal with that. Well, that was pathetic. <laughs> 58 ships wiped out in a day. Oh, look, look. The rest of the world is bringing in some forces. Oh, isn't that cute? 17 aircraft carriers. Oh, it's so precious. What do you really think you're going to do with that, huh? No, nothing. You're just going to get owned. Yeah, that's right. That is correct. Victory is on the horizon. Oh, they've killed a couple of our helicopters and a couple of our destroyers. Eh, but that's all right. We've already killed five of their aircraft carriers and, like, a hundred destroyers. So, what do you got, man? Is that it? Is that it? Who are these countries? Who is this? Is that, uh, I think that's Brazil, uh, Denmark, and the United States. So, really, this is just the United States force. And what? I'm surprised they have anything left, really. I thought I killed off all their ships in a previous episode. But I guess, I guess they're still alive and kicking. Yes, they're better now. I wish I could speed this little battle up a little bit. Yes, victory. We wiped out, what is that, was that the rest of Great Britain's fleet? Yeah, we wiped out what was left of the Great Britain's fleet. Look at that army, that is so pathetic. Is this all you can muster against the might of Djibouti? Yep, that was it. Look at that, we killed 275 ships at the cost of 36. Why didn't you guys help the Americans? They needed your help and you left them to die in the dank and the cold? Look, we just won two more battles. Is that it? Is that all this world can muster? Looks like it. Anyway. Let's focus on gathering up our massive army. We shall meet in pre-Luxembourg. Well, I guess that's part of Germany, not really Luxembourg, is it? Yeah, it's part of Germany. Whatever. All right. March on to the UK! Forward, men! We have conquered London! Conquered Scotland and Wales! Me, 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 me! It is mine! All mine! Yes, yes! Conquer it! Conquer it all. And why didn't we take over Scotland? 
There's some more troops in there. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Looks like it. Transport helicopters fighting over there. Let's go ahead and take Ireland too while we're here. Why not? Why not? This is uh, this is where the predominant portions of my family are from. Yes, yeah, good old Ireland. Which part? Don't ask me. I don't know. Click. Oh. Why is 14 transport helicopters holding off my 75 artillery guns? Come on, artillery! Shoot them down! <laughs> Djibouti is so advanced that we should just automatically be able to shoot anything with our artillery. I mean, come on. What, 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 what kind of artillery am I using here? What is this? Look at that! Nine! Nine! Everything is at nine! I should be able to kill everything without a struggle! Without any struggle. Look at three, three. Oh, Jesus. Alright, we have taken. Wait, have we taken it? Conquered! Alright, now we just have to take this little bitty little island here. I'm not 100% sure what that is. Is that the Isle of Man? I could be incorrect. Feel free to correct me in the comments if I am wrong. I admit I am human. Surprisingly enough, the Commissar is human. Yes, yes, yes. You would think with all this douchebaggy, obnoxious personality that he wouldn't be. I am. Let's go ahead and take over Denmark as well. Yes, move over there. Move the boats. And we'll, we'll use all these forces over here to do that. I'm surprised I can't just attack it from where I am. There we go. There we go. We take it bit by bit. We are consolidating this giant empire into one greater Djibouti. One great roller coaster. One great amusement park. The likes of which the world has never seen. And when we conquer the rest of the universe as well, that's right, we aren't settling for just the Earth because why would we settle? We are Djibouti! Bam, bam, slam, bam, thank you, ma'am! Money, go ahead, yes, take that. Take it all. Let's go ahead and... I, we might as well just make a bridge. We're going to take over Iceland and then Greenland. And then the United States will become part of Djibouti. That's right. I wonder if my guys can just move there. No, no. I'm going to move the boat first. That was worth a try. Oh, I haven't conquered this, this little bit here from Denmark. That's right. What about this? Do I have to conquer that too? Nope. Djibouti owns it. Sweet, sweet Djibouti. All right. Move on. There we go. Bam! Bam! They got nothing! Nothing to hold this tide! <laughs> this is the bad thing about the late game. It just literally becomes you uh, wiping out the remnant of the world's armies, and they stand absolutely no chance. It's mildly depressing, in all honesty. I mean, I'm not complaining, because I'm the one doing the conquering. But hey, onward to Greenland. We will be like the old Vikings. Leif Erikson, wasn't it? Was it Leif Erikson who uh, supposedly, theoretically, discovered Greenland, this area? I could be wrong. I could be wrong. My knowledge is not absolute. Although the might of Djibouti is. Yes. Yes. Look at this. Look at this, we are steamrolling the world! They do not stand a chance! No chances. Nothing! Yes, conquer it. Conquer it all! Alright. And we shall go ahead and strike forth on Canadian soil! Canada! Wait, am I at war with Canada? No, I'm not. Interesting. I'm surprised I'm not. Well, you know what's funny? I'M ABOUT TO BE! <laughs> Onward! Declare war! close enough to the shore. We're not close enough. Alright, move! Move in! Uh-oh. It looks like my people might be stuck in non-Canada. Or maybe it's because I'm being attacked by a fleet. Whatever. We will wipe out the Canadian fleet first. They stand no chance. Although they are the might or the fifth mightiest fleet in the world with 50 ships. Look at look, why the, I, <laughs> the Italians have the largest army in the world. Look at that. They have 1.7 million soldiers. <laughs> Isn't that just precious? What are they going to do with that? They're going to fall over and die. That's what they're going to do with it. All right. Well, Canada's been defeated. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Let's move the boats closer, shall we? Yes, 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 yes. We're going to move it on the northern Canada front. And then we're just going to occupy everything. 
Come on, U.S., do you have any troops that are ready to fight? Willing to take on my might? Probably not. Oh, look, the, the Canadians sent a big force. They might actually be able to beat this little Djibouti task force. No, no, they will not and cannot. Is that it? Is that it? This is, this is like the world's last effort to really hold me off, because apparently Canada just has a massive army. And they failed everywhere else. Tis a shame. Annex it! Make Canada! Yes, we're taking America's hat. No longer will you spew in our faces with your despicable A's and your maple syrup. That is correct. It is now Djiboutian. And we shall have an amusement park dedicated to moose and or meese. Whatever you prefer to call them. Yes. Anyway, let's focus on what we've conquered. So we took over what was left of Denmark. We took over what was left of the UK, and this is our economy. It's just as strong as it was before, if not stronger. Look, our per capita even went up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Djibouti, Djibouti. My favorite booty. That's right. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Alright, so I think this is a good part to end episode 16. Look at where we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are well on our way to world domination. As Djibouti, we will be the first of our class. The first of our kind. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen, comrades and all. I love you guys. You guys keep me doing this. And I thank you for your support. If you haven't seen it yet, go watch my blacklist video. I put a lot of work into that. And I'm really excited about it. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I enjoy making it. Anyway, see you later, comrades. You all have wonderful days. And or to the next time in episode 17 of the rise of Djibouti. Who obviously has terrible, terrible reflexes and